we're going to create an animated logo with this now. So I like the VN. I'm not sure. I really like that. So let's let's hit the delete key on my keyboard. And let's bring in another image to see what it would look like. Here, let's just try this blue orb for now. So I bring it, I just click and drag it, bring it down, and I want to move it to the back because it's a little hard to see when it's blocking my actual logo. So I move it to the back. I'm going to scale it. There we go. And now I'm going to fire up the animated logo creator. Now the animated logo creator is a really cool tool that'll help me animate um, this this orb, for example. So let's let's export this logo as it is to the animated logo creator. And since I want to animate this orb, I really don't want I, I really don't want this in the logo for now. So let's I'm gonna hit the delete key on my keyboard and delete it. All I really want is this nice big text that says very nice. And we'll tighten up the window here so it just fits the logo because that's all we really want. And then we're going to go up here to export. And we're going to export to animated logo creator. And when we do that, a uh, very nice logo. We'll name it. And if we hit OK, it's going to fire up the animated logo creator. And it asks me again, do I want to save it as or export it as, as a high render? I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to wait a couple seconds for it to render. And you'll notice that it pops right into the animated logo creator area, just this nice big VN. Now I'm going to animate this by choosing an animated object. You'll notice under the My Objects tab, under, the, uh, the, under this menu, you have templates, and the animated logo creator comes with pre design templates for you to, to, to get some ideas with. Um, I can walk you through these in another tutorial, but for now, there's over 80 animated templates with different objects that you could use. So for now, we're going to find, here's my logos where you can save your logos and they pop up here. Here's some graphics for you. There's some different kinds of orbs, uh, glass balls and that kind of thing. Here are the animated, uh, the, the animation objects that I want, I want to look at. So we, for example, we have, uh, clicking on it gives you an animated orb here. We don't want that for now. We're going to hit delete. There are over a hundred different animations here. There's lots and lots of cool animations in this software. Like, for example, that one. Lots of these crazy things. So for now, let's let's go to that orb, the the orb idea that I like. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna pick that blue. Oh, here's a cool one too. Watch this, a pulsating. All right, let's go back and pick this orb because it's similar to what I had in my original logo. So I'm gonna click it and I'm going to resize it a little bit by clicking these handles. And obviously we don't want it over the word VN, we want it uh, underneath it. So we're going to go to these little tools here, delete. There's delete everything off the stage. There's send it to the back, send it to the front, and here's a duplicate element. So we want to send it to the back. And there we go. Now when we export our logo, click, it's going to export it as a PDF or a SWIFT. Now the SWIFT file is the flash animated uh, object that you're going to import into your embed into your page your website I hit OK and I name this very nice animation notice I don't have any spaces in here sometimes the web no not sometimes all the time the web URLs do not like spaces so I don't like to put spaces in any of my names so I don't forget save and you'll notice that here is my SWIFT file that pops up on my screen. Uh, to view a SWIFT file, you'll need a tool. Most of them are free on, on online. Uh, Flash provides a, f a free Flash player tool. Um, I downloaded something on my Mac. I'm using a Mac. 
um, called SWIFT and FLV player. It kind of just plays SWIFT files. I can show you uh, with a link down below this video what how to get this, this tool. It's a free tool. Anyway, click on it and it launches it and there is our awesome animation. Uh, if you click the link below this video, you'll see um, you'll see that I've put a link into a page that actually contains this logo. So you can see it live on a website. So there you go. We've created a logo, a business card, and an animated logo, all with one easy to use tool. The Logo Design Suite by Laughing Bird Software is available for the Mac and Windows machines. Hope you enjoyed these tutorial videos. If you have any questions, use the form link below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Alright, see you for now.